Hello and welcome to WordPress Tutorials. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make beautiful post grid for default post or pages or any other post type. So let's start. What I mean is for the blog page, I have this design which is mobile responsive, uh, which means if you open this page on mobile phone or a tablet or a PC or a Mac, it will adjust itself. Uh, to that uh, screen okay uh, I have a beautiful po blog post page but uh, I want to show you how to make your website blog page as beautiful as this one or even much better okay for this purpose we will need a plugin called the post plugin come to your admin dashboard and click on plugins add new on this page Click in the search bar and type the post grid. Press enter. You will find a couple of plugins. In the search result, look for the post grid created by Radius Themes. There are 20,000 plus active installation when I am installing this. Click on install now and wait for it. While the plugin is installing, I want to share a beautiful hosting, uh, cheap and reliable web hosting, which is fast and reliable for your websites. And uh, you can find the link below our video. Scroll down from this uh, YouTube video and in the description, you will find the link uh, to that hosting. And this is the best way to uh, support our channel because our channel is not yet monetized. And if you uh, buy the hosting from uh, this Bluehost link, then uh, they will pay a commission to our uh, channel. So uh, if you need a uh, web hosting, then this is the best hosting for your website. Okay, let's come back to the plugin installing page and wait for it. Also, uh, it is requested that uh, please hit the subscribe button uh, here it is my channel so I don't see the subscribe button but hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon so you won't miss our uh, future update after the plugin installation click on activate okay when the plugin is activated successfully uh, you can see the menu here the post grid click on the post grid and uh, you will see all post grids available as we installed this plugin uh, recently there will be no post grid and you will have to make a new one click on add new grid on this page click on add title and I'll give you a title the sample post grid and you can select a post type from post or page or any other custom post type if you have so I'm gonna choose post because I already have about six posts in my uh, WordPress default post section and save it click on publish after publishing you will have this short code which you can right click and copy and come to the pages I'll add a new page to show you how it works click on add new page pages add new page here add a new title for the page sample blog page and click in the content paste that short code search for uh, the blog short code and paste that short code here and click on publish I'm using the Gutenberg uh, editor uh, you can also use the old 
uh, WordPress editor for this one. Okay, right click on view page, open new tab. Okay, the page is ready, but as you can see, uh, here is on my default template, there are there is sidebar, and then the posts are here. I choose four posts for one column, and there are total six posts. So first of all, I'll change the page layout from sidebar uh, to full width page. Come to the page, and in page attributes click on page attributes default template to full width or canvas so I will choose full width which will have no sidebar click on update every theme have it own, its own templates but uh, you will you may have a full width here or in the theme setting but I have it uh, on the page here so come to the page again refresh the page and the sidebar will be gone okay sidebar is gone now uh, and now some settings for the uh, grid come to the grid all grids and edit that grid which we just created and in the layout section layout setting uh, columns 3 I'll choose 3 columns and enable pagination if you have more than 6 uh, posts because I will show 6 posts per page okay featured image featured image size uh, currently it's using 150 by 150 which which is a little awkward and small images so I'll change it to 300 by 300 or you can use large version 1024 by 1024 but uh, for now I'll use 300 by 300 for larger screens you can use uh, this image or even the full size image but for now I'll use 300 by 300 and media source is featured image uh, you can also use the image within the post if you are not uh, using the featured image you can use first image from the contents also okay title limit it will be 99 its characters and excerpt limit is also 99 and title may be 50 except type character except more text read more overlay title tag h2 you can choose h3 or h4 as well but for now we will leave h2 uh, you can see the preview here live when you change these things okay I want to show uh, all these things the comments the the category uh, the user who created this post uh, and the thumbnails and the read more button as well you can change the color for the read more button from here field section style and primary color is blue and the read more button is green so change the background for that primary color will be black as my website uh, all colors are black then I'll choose black for uh, primary color is two so you can see these colors are black now Uh, if you want to hide the date or the user or comments for example for this I'll hide author and comment count so it will be disappeared update and now layout preview will uh, show you the updated layout where there is no user uh, or author and comment okay the
layout setting pagination enable disable feature damage okay that's that's done for me the button text the button active background button hover button background color choose silver or gray and the button text color will be black as well okay so that's all for me uh, update and let's check on the front end click on refresh okay here is the front end which looks like this but the featured image is still smaller uh, then come to the layout again and click on layout settings uh, select image 1024 by 1024 and then update again okay once it's updated uh, if you come to the front end there is also a background uh, the menu is overlapping the contents so we will have to add some space uh, above this grid uh, come to the edit page and add a new row like a dummy paragraph or any uh, empty content or let's add a spacer if they have yes spacer is there and drag this spacer above the short code or drag the short code below the spacer give it some size click on update page and come to the front end and refresh the page okay here is our page the updated page and the grid looks perfect on the full screen uh, also if you want to change the responsiveness you want to check the responsiveness uh, let's see when you change the screen layout then uh, it, it is the mobile view which is like this it is one column and on the tablet or iPads it will look like this and on the desktop it will look like these three columns so it's fully responsive and it will work on all browser including Mozilla Firefox, Google Chrome, um, Safari or any other major browser. So uh, if you learned something from this video please like and share this video and subscribe to our channel uh, so you won't miss our future updates. Uh, it is also the best way to support our channel and uh, please buy our hosting from the link below our video so uh, the web hosting will pay a commission and it will support our channel thanks for watching